Good morning, everyone. It's your boy Brappy here. Back at you, ready to talk another video. Fucking starting our day with taking Chief out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna try calling my insurance company and getting some quotes and whatnot. Cause I'm fucking excited for this truck. If everything looks good, I'm definitely gonna bring it home with me. All right, let's go. Chief, you crazy. Taking shit. Oh yeah. Cheating. But yeah, you can call the insurance company. Hopefully get a half decent quote. And then, um, I gotta see about an appraisal. So I gotta, there was a guy I went to and he appraised the Blazer for 50 bucks when I got that. So I gotta see if he's still alive. And if he is, I'll get him to appraise the Dakota for me if I get it. And then I can put her on the road and things will be mint. Time to call good old State Farm. Oh, you with them? Yeah, give, give old fucking Kirk Norris a ring, see what happens. Well, we got some good news out of that phone call. Fucking, if I just keep, if I buy the Dakota and I just enter the Dakota, it's gonna be about 20 bucks cheaper a month. And if I keep both the vehicles on, I get a multi-vehicle rate or something where they take a little bit off and it'll only be like 240, 250 a month for the two. And for one, it'll only be like 117, 120 a month, which I don't find that bad at all. Fuck. Some days I make 500 in a day. So fuck. Make insurance money in one day plus some. Can't really complain with that. So I don't know, I think I might just uh, buy the Dakota, get it on the road, then just keep the Blazer on the road. And I don't know, if something small goes on it, maybe just keep fixing it. I think I'm gonna miss my Blazer. I don't know if I can just, just say up and fuck the Blazer. I don't know if I can do that. But I'm definitely happy. Can't wait to see this truck tonight. I really hope it's as good as it looks in the pictures. Cause if it is, I'm definitely bringing her the fuck home. Well, I'm gonna give my mom and Nana a call, shoot the shit with them for a little bit. And then the first project today is gonna be finishing one of the jobs I was working on the other day. As you can see, we had to put a new pedal on for Jesse there, because he snapped his plastic one. And then uh, this one's getting ready to go too. You can see it, it's all cracking. So I got that other metal one off for the red bike for him that we threw out front the other day. So it popped up black plastic one off put the metal one on there and then uh, he should have a hard time breaking those so at least he'll be able to fucking haul his trailer at full momentum without his pedals busting which will be good dad and jesse got some gas ready to go back to the boat we gotta go start gassing her up now that we used some gas yesterday I gotta ask Graham, I'm gonna call her friend and try to get me the number for that appraisal guy because I can't find it online. Alright, see you in a bit, bud. I'll be back, I'm not up. This bike seems to be working good for him now. He's happy, happy, happy. Jesse and my dad are getting ready to take some more gas over to the boat. So I told them. I got a couple gas cans in the truck. So, you can use them to fill up the boat. My dad gave me some weed yesterday anyways, so instead of me paying for the weed, I can just give him some gas. And then we'll probably have to maybe get some more gas. Cause I don't know how much gas the Dakota has in it. Or we could always just, uh, fucking, uh, a little bit of gas in the truck in the gas station so I don't know let's see let's see what happens it's fucking hot out today though I tell you holy shit today would have been another nice day to go on the tube not a single fucking cloud in the sky just nice and sunny holy fuck it's whatever Time to get some food. Fuck, I'm pissed off, man. Trying to call the drive test thing to schedule to get my full license. And holy shit, man. Can't even talk to a real person. They got some, I don't even know, not not Canadian. Some 
random ass computer animated system and it's like let me talk to a real person you know like i really wish i was born in the 90s even maybe the 80s because other than videos and watching movies and playing video games i hate fucking technology the cars suck everything sucks right down the fucking microwaves and fridges you know just nothing's built the same as it was and they're just stealing everyone's jobs, fucking handing them to computers. It's like, thanks, bud. Like, what are you gonna do for the one percenters like me that learn and work with their hands? Like, I can't do math, I can't do English, I can't do history, I can't do geography, but I can labor. I'm a very good laborer, and they're stealing jobs from us, giving them to computers. It's sort of fucking stupid if you ask me. Time to fucking eat. Maybe I won't be so angry if there wasn't food in me. Oh, I'm not happy though, I'll tell you that for sure. Can't wait till I get that fucking chest strap off my cousin. Then I don't have to struggle doing this shit one hand. Like, you guys see your boy Brappy? I'm fucking struggling right now. Just so you guys can see what I'm about to do. So. Hope you guys enjoy, cause I'm struggling for you. Fuck seeks, come on. Here we go. Look at that. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Well, it's got the number and name of the appraisal. I tried calling them, and there's no answer at all, so... I really hope the guy's not fucking dead. Hopefully he's, uh, just busy or something. Cause I don't know, he's quite the old guy when I went there last year for him to do the appraisal on the blazer. So, fingers crossed, he's still alive, still doing the appraisals, and then we can pay him 50 bucks to get the appraisal done. And then we'll be on the way. And then, uh, put insurance on the truck tonight, have the appraisal. Then first thing in the morning, go get plates for it, a sticker. And then we can get a safety for 250 bucks. Get a safety, and we'll hit the road. Just sort of trying to kill some time, but well, it's like 2.30, so we still gotta wait a little while to go look at this truck. Trying to get some weed though. No one's really messing us back, figures. But it's funny though. The one lady or whatever, older lady who bought the Sunfire, she wants to try taking me to court because I guess it's not, can't be put on the road or something, hole in the frame. And I told her, I'm like, look, like, car was sold as is, where is, how is, there's bills to sale, they've been signed, all that good shit. I said, if you want to waste taxpayers' money and try putting me in a courtroom, I'm just going to laugh at you. Because it's not, you know, it's not like Kia sold it to her, right? It's not like they're like, oh yeah, it's certified, ready to go. It's Kijiji, so if you want to try taking someone over to court for a car you bought on Kijiji, be my guest. But at the end of the day... I'm still going to be laughing, and the funny thing is, the money they uh, spent to buy that car, I'm spending that money today, and I'm getting myself a new truck, so I feel pretty good. Well, we're at the Max Milks now. Maddie's just getting a drink, then I'm going to drop her off for Captain's for a little bit, and then I'm going to go back home, pick my dad up. He's already waiting, he's got the plates off his truck, and then we'll rip out there. If we like the truck, bring her home, and then we'll have to get her appraised, and then tomorrow we'll have to go to Lakefield and get a fucking, some plates for it, get put in my name, get a trip permit, and then yeah, I'm pretty excited. I wonder what's going on now. Huh. I was gonna have to pull over. I guess they're stopping there. Hey boy, Brap, you just bought a new vehicle. Fucking right. I'm happy now. She's mint. I love it. It's already insured too. Fuck. I'm gonna be wrapping that thing tomorrow, folks. Hopefully. Just stopped at the insurance company there. Pretty nice I did.
Okay. Well, we're back at the house now. Or the lot, I should say. But pretty much my house, so. We're back at the house now. <laughs> Fucking unhappy. Truck made it here fine. It's working good. All is good. Jesse's cruising out and just got another customer for his Costco services. Tarion was over here. Tarion was the one that sold me the blazer. Yeah, I stopped in. Just want not to say hi, look at the new truck. And then uh, Jesse was telling him about his Costco services. So, just got another customer there. Just look into the interior on this thing though. Man, oh man. She is mint. And just look at it. Needs a little clean up, but hell, it's gonna be an awesome truck. I like it. Got the nice wood fucking trim. It's literally the same as my last truck. Well, not my last truck, but last, last, last truck. Cause I used to have a 1989 Dodge Dakota. And this one's a 1993. So it's not really a big difference at all, really. And this one's just nicer. It's got the big old bush bumper on her. I like that. Fucking buddy said back into the moose and you'll be all right. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. Definitely worth what I paid for it. Can't complain. So uh, tomorrow, I guess we go into the ministry. We buy some plates, we get it appraised, get a trip permit on it, then we hit the streets. Time for fucking some dinner. Friggin' ma. Got her seasoning salt on there as always. Friggin' man. Well, dinner was fucking awesome. I'm nice and stuffed. Just picked out some cleaning supplies. Can tidy the truck up a little bit. Then tomorrow, try to get the vacuum in, vacuum up a little bit. I think I might try swapping the mirrors out, because I don't think I really like that big old honking thing. Just put a nice small one on it. I don't even have a mirror in my blazer, so... Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I don't know. Gonna clean it up a little bit, and then that's pretty much gonna be the end of today. But all around, mint day. I'm very happy with my purchase. It's a nice truck. That's for sure. Well, I decided to say fuck this weird ass looking mirror. And I put my mirror up from my Saturn. Happy I kept this mirror. The crack and all gives it character. Friggin' right. Doesn't matter what car I have. Every car I've owned in my lifetime, I always keep something from it. Whether it's the mirror, the key, copy of the ownership, a floor mat, something. You always gotta keep something. Wow, that's harsh. Yo, this is fucking dope. Your boy Brappy's gonna be fucking partying. That's actually mint. I love that. This truck was a mint bar. No complaints on my end. That's fucking dope. Just got the side windows cleaned up. Got the back window cleaned up. Crawled in the box and cleaned those back windows up. Still gotta clean the box itself out. That'll probably be tomorrow. We'll get her all vacuumed and everything. Yeah, fuck. I can't wait to have this thing on the road. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited, especially now that I found those strobe lights. Holy fuck, that's cool. That is cool, my friends. I'm happy. I couldn't love the colorway anymore. Like, look at all that red. Oh, I sort of got bored, so I decided to pull the vacuum out. I think we might as well start vacuuming it. Nothing better to do right now, anyways. Man, I still can't get over how vibrant this fucking red is. I love it. Friggin' man. Dash lights are in. Then we just, uh... Hey, little controller out here. Nose on. There's a strobe light. 
Yeah, that's fucking dope. I like that. There's all these different colors too. Smooth. And there's the fade. Yeah, that's dope. Got all different colors. Yeah, I've definitely never had these cool of lights before. I'm liking her. Nice and bright from the front. That's fucking awesome. The truck's nice and clean now too. Got it all cleaned up real nice. It's fucking men. Well, that's gonna be under today's video. Tomorrow we're gonna work on getting the appraisal and plates and everything and getting her on the road and then the blazer and the dakota both be on the road and uh yeah we'll be wrapping so uh hope everyone has a good night day or whatever time it is when you're watching this and uh like subscribe comment and we'll see you tomorrow